We're Geographer and you're watching BAM TV. Well, obviously, usually we, we have a lot of electronic instruments and tonight we played acoustic. And when you take all those sounds out, I think the core of the song makes itself known. And we're obsessed with finding the perfect sound uh, you know, whether it's a synth patch or effects pedals, just the perfect way to present every sound. We spend a lot of time with that. So it's really interesting for us as musicians to just say, you know, we're not going to care if it doesn't sound quite right because we're using the Wurlitzer and that's that. So how, like, what we usually do is what can we use to best suit this part? But now what can we do to the part to best suit the instrument? And that's a completely different yeah, it's a completely different ball game. You know, when you're up there on stage playing electronics, it's a lot of, you know, triggering samples or messing with a uh, with effects and here there's none of that. So it's really kind of like two different bands. And I know we all had a, a, a lot of fun making it work for tonight's show. Just if you let them. Well, when we write music, it happens... Well, it happens one of two ways, and one is really acoustic, and then the other is really electronic. Like, a lot of songs start from a sound. Um, I'll just be in our rehearsal space, and I'll find a... Yeah, you know, I'll be chasing some sound that I want to hear, or just messing around. And then that sound will... Things will sort of build on top of that. And I mean just, like, one part, like, one keyboard part with specific effects. And then I'll build the song out from there. But then sometimes... You know, I'll just be at home on that thing and just playing chords and singing. A lot of the time I, I'll try to write a certain kind of song and that never works. It's usually just, just have to get free and enjoy playing your instrument and singing and then, and then something will come out of that and then I'll show it to these guys and then we'll flesh it out into the song. Usually it starts sonically, and then and then that informs the subject matter. I think I've only started with lyrics once, so usually lyrics come totally last, and it usually takes me a while to write them. Like I'll, I'll just be writing them over the course of even a couple months. Usually um, when I'm writing the song, I'll be singing and just stream of consciousness, and then some hook will come out of that, or some line that actually means something. And then I'll go back and, you know, whatever it is I'm thinking about or I want to sing about, fill in all the nooks and crannies of the song that way. Our album is called Myth, and it's, it's more or less about the fact that I feel that, you know, I think people think that we live in a mythless society because we have science and education, but I, I think that we still live according to a lot of myths that are designed to be instructive, but people maybe take a little too far as, you know, a myth is a story that helps you learn how to live. It keeps you safe, you know, but I think a lot of times, especially nowadays, people take myths as reality and I think we get a lot of our myths from TV and movies and things like that and then people actually go about living them so the album deals with the many different ways that myths play into sort of our modern lives whatever that might be
Well, we're going to go on tour as much as humanly possible. That's our real hope. We want to tour America, the world. I mean, that's really the that's the real reason why we do this. I mean, we want to make good sounding records and we want to play for people. So that's what we're going to concentrate on now. Well, the beard protocol is strict, and there is there are no exceptions. If oh, you if you trim your beard below number four setting on a standard Norelco shaver, you're out. You don't get any. You, you docked your pay. You're out. We have doppelgangers in the wings. <laughs> Although, if you do mess up on the beard trimming, then it's still acceptable to keep the mustache and shave the rest. That is true. Actually, before Treasure Island, I you know. I wanted to look good, so I, I trimmed my beard. I was on zero. A little swath right up the chin. No one even knew. <laughs> and that's music magic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 